I found this ego blower on Craigslist listed as not working $25. I took a chance that it was just a blown fuse or something easy. Well, it turned out not to be so easy, but I was able to repair it and I've been using it nonstop for over two years now. This was the first ego tool I repaired, but later on I made a near identical repair on an ego multi-head. I did a thorough video on that one and it's linked here, so check that out too. The blower is just two clamshell halves screwed together, so it comes apart really easily. Most of the guts don't even have their own screws. They are clamped in place by the two halves. Unfortunately, there is no obvious standalone fuse, just a switch for the trigger, a switch for the turbo button, a potentiometer for the speed control, and a battery connector, all wired into a black box with a capacitor hanging off of it. I pulled everything out, and I did find a fuse soldered to a circuit board sticking out of the black box. I tested the fuse and confirmed it was blown, but a temporary replacement automotive fuse also blew as soon as I plugged in a battery, so that told me there was another problem. It just so happened my wife gave me an electronic speed control for a RC car around this time, and I hadn't even installed it yet. I looked at the three wires going to the Ego blower motor and the three wires coming out of the speed control and took a chance. I hooked them together, pulled the trigger on my RC transmitter, and sure enough, the blower motor came to life. Albeit slowly, since I was supplying just 8.4 volts from the 2S RC lithium battery, not 56 volts like the Ego battery. I was thrilled though, the RC car had functioned as a test tool to prove the problem wasn't with the Ego blower's motor. So I turned my attention back to the black box and found that one side of it was a heat sink. I was able to pry that off, revealing more of the circuit board underneath with six MOSFETs. These were a Chinese model not easy to obtain, but I used the specs to find a suitable replacement on DigiKey. Specifics are in the description. I ordered a strip of them along with the proper fuse and waited. In the meantime, I desoldered the MOSFETs and tested them one by one. It wasn't hard to see the problem. On four of the six MOSFETs, all pins were shorted to all others. For a more refined testing method that doesn't require desoldering, see my Ego multi-head video, linked in the description. I tried to get fancy and see what the other two MOSFETs were doing on the oscilloscope. Nothing much made sense. I suppose I was expecting some pretty sine waves, but all I can figure is that the Ego controller is trying to start the brushless multi-phase motor, notices that two phases are missing or that the whole motor is missing, and shuts things down. I went ahead and replaced all six MOSFETs so they matched, soldered another small 5 amp automotive fuse to the board temporarily, hooked up the motor and battery, and pressed the trigger. I was thrilled when I heard the motor come to life. After some soldering cleanup and reassembly, the blower worked perfectly and it has for two years now. So when the multi-head motor quit, I had a feeling I knew what was wrong. That video has lots more details and they all apply to leaf blowers and probably weed eaters and other ego tools too. If you have a dead ego tool, follow the test procedures in that video. I bet you've got blown MOSFETs. Hopefully this helps you fix your tool. Feel free to post any questions in the comments and thanks for watching.